Hi everyone, welcome you all. In the today's video, we are going to see a few important questions like how to capture tooltip of the web element. And then we will see how to open a link in a new tab. And then we will see how to open multiple URLs in the multiple tabs and windows. And finally, we will see how to capture size and location of the web element. Now let us start with the capturing the tooltip. So sometimes you may see uh, some applications or some elements which contains a tooltip. Now we'll see what is a tooltip first of all. And here I have a small application. Here there is small input box. So whenever I, I just do mouse over action and which will give you some small message here. So this is a pop, uh, this is actually tooltip. And similarly you can just look at here, I'm mouse overing on this particular uh, links and which is giving some kind of tooltip. So I want to capture this tooltip from those elements. Now how we can capture it. So for example, if I take this element, like it is an input box, now let us try to inspect this element and here you can see input tag and there is a title tag is there. So title attribute is there and whatever the tooltip is displaying on the UI, the same tooltip value is assigned to the title, which is an attribute of the element. Now, if you are able to capture this uh, value of the title, that is exactly equal to your tooltip. Now we'll see practically how we can capture it. Now I already have a new Maven project and which contains pom.xml, I already added two dependencies, Cilium Java and WebDriver Manager dependencies. Now let's go to my package and here I'm creating a new class. I'll name it as tooltip and take the main method and then say finish. So as a first step, we need to set up the browser. So for that, I'm adding these two statements, WebDriver Manager dot Chrome driver dot setup. So which will set up the Chrome driver and web driver instance, which will be created web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. And after that, let me try to launch our application. Let's say driver dot get. And here we have to pass the URL of the application. Let me in the double quotation, specify the URL and then go back to the application. And this particular element is present inside the frame. So what I will do is I'll switch to the frame before interacting with that element. So for that, I can say driver dot uh, switch to dot frame and here I can pass index because I have only one frame in that particular page. So I'm just using index zero. And after that, let us try to inspect this element first. And uh, from the selector hub, I'm taking the X path of the element and go back to your code and uh, get that element first. I'll say driver dot find element by dot X path and specify that X path. And this is the element. Actually, this is an input box, right? So this is a web element and the return type of find element is web element. Now import this web element. Now we need to get the tooltip of that element. So the tooltip is a value which is assigned to the title, uh, title attribute. So how to get the value of the attribute? We have a method called get attribute method. So whatever web element we have captured, take that element dot. The method is get attribute. And here we can pass the name of the attribute, which is title. So that we have to specify. So this will return the value of the title that is exactly equal to tooltip. Now that is in string format. I'll say string uh, tooltip text. Now I can print that value. I can say sys out and printing the tooltip. Okay. So this is how we can capture the tooltip of the element. Later, we can compare this uh, tooltip uh, text with our expected test. And if both are matching, our test is passed. So this is how we can capture the tooltip of the element. Now, let me just execute and see. Now I have just executed my code and it is trying to launch my browser. Now it is opening my URL. Right, so now you can see, uh, I'm just closing my browser. So this is our tooltip of that particular element. Okay, so this is how we can capture the tooltip of the element. It can be input box, it can be link, whatever it is, the process is same. Okay, so this is how we can capture the tooltip of the web element. So now we will see how to open a link in a new tab, how to open a link in a new tab. So for example, sometimes uh, you have something like this. Uh, I have something like a UI, uh, uh, some application URL like this. And when I open this application URL, I have a small link which is register. So when I click on this register link, so the target page is open in the same tab, okay? 
now if i want to go back then i can just click on this arrow mark then only i will i'll go back so here my requirement is i just want to open this link in the next tab so just like this right click register and open the new tab this will open in the new tab so how it is possible uh, in selenium so now i'll show you how we can open the link in the new tab like this so for that let me just create one more script uh, right click on the my package and new class right click on my package and new class and uh, i'll name it as open link in the new tab open link in the new tab take this main method and say finish so as a first step i will set up the chrome driver and browser so for the time using web driver manager import this chrome driver import this chrome class so now so once you created the driver instance let me launch my application i say driver.get and i'll try to open this application url and after that i'll try to click on the register right so inspect this element called register and this is basically link text i just go to the selector hub this is basically link text so i'm using a link text uh, to get this element and perform the click action i say driver dot i say driver dot find element by dot link text and here pass the link text and say dot click so this is a normal way we will do that so when you say uh, register link dot click so that target page will be opened on the same page but i want to open this register link in the next tab so how it is possible so to do this we have to use some keyboard keys so for that what you have to do is we have to first capture the uh, we need to open the tab like this so for that we need to use a combination of two keys so in the selenium we have something called a uh, keys class inside this there is a method called cord and uh, in this method we can pass multiple keys so the first key i am passing is keys dot control this is my first key comma the second key is keys dot return or you can use enter also so i am using combination of two keys control return control enter so what basically this method will return a string uh, type is returned so i will store that return type in the string i'll say a string and i'll create one variable called a string let us say a tab so the whole statement will basically return the string now i am identifying the element and performing the click action right so instead of performing click action directly i'll use send keys because we can use send keys method right so send keys method available for the web element dot send keys and whatever the tab i captured here that i am passing that's it so now these two keys combination of two keys whatever operation will perform will be performed here so now when i execute this the same link will be opened on the next page and still home page will be available now let us run as a java application now chrome driver was started successfully and launching my application so now we can just notice here it is click on the register link and it opens the another tab so in the next tab we got the registration page so this is how we can open uh, any of these links in the next tabs by just passing this parameter in the form, in the send keys method okay so this is how we can open the link in the new tab so very tricky entry question so sometimes people may ask you so please remember this so we need to pass this combination of keys here or instead of storing the whole thing in a variable you can directly specify the whole thing here inside the send keys method then you can avoid this variable okay so this is one scenario now i'll show you one more thing suppose uh i have multiple urls let's say i have two different application urls i want to open both in two different tabs or two different windows so how to open urls in multiple tabs and multiple windows that i'm going to show you now so for example i have one application like this let us say take the same application and this is one application 
Now, once you open this application, I want to open another tab and then I want to open one more application or one more URL like this. So normally what happens when I use divert or get two different methods and one method I'm passing this URL immediately in the second method, I'll pass another URL. Then what happens is both the commands will use the same tab and the old application will go and the new application will be open. But I still want to have two applications in the two different tabs then how it is possible. Now let's create one more example, uh, a new class. I say open URLs in two tabs. So take this main method and then finish. So first of all, I will create the web driver manager. Now import required stuff, import required packages, home driver and everything. So then let's try to do like this. Let's say driver.get. And first time I'm passing this URL, uh, the first URL I'm passing, take this URL and uh, I'm passing here. And the same command I'm executing one more time. And this time I will give you one more application URL like this. So this time what happens is first time this will open this URL. Second time it will open another application on the same tab. Now let us notice here, run as Java application. So Chrome driver started. Now you can just observe here. First time opens the nocommerce.com. Now it opens code.com. So the second application is opened on the same tab. The old application is gone. Now my requirement is I want to open this opencard.com in the second tab. So how it is possible. So to do this, Selenium web driver is having uh, one more command called new window, switch to dot new window command. So that is available in from Selenium four onwards. Okay, so now before between these two commands, I will add one command called driver dot. I say driver dot switch to dot a new window. This is a method driver dot switch to dot a new window. And here we have to specify the window type. So what is the window type? So window type dot I say tab. So in the I want to open the next tab and then I will open this. I want to open this URL. So driver dot switch to dot a new window window type is tab. So I can just semicolon here and close the statement and then execute and see what will happen. So run as Java application. So Chrome driver was started successfully. Now we can just notice here. It is my first application and another tab is opened. Now the new application is open in the first tab. I can see nocommerce.com. In the second tab, I can see open card data. So this is how we can handle it. Suppose I want to open the second URL, another browser window, another browser window. So that means first of all, I'll open this URL like this. And the second time, the second URL I'll open on the new window, not uh, another tab. So now we can see this is one window. This is another window. So here I want to open like this. So both are different browser windows. So how it is possible? So this is possible by just changing this parameter. Instead of tab, I can specify window. Window type is window. Simply remove the tab, window type dot, I say window. Now it will automatically open another window. The next URL will be opened on the another browser window. Now run as a Java application. Now it is launching my browser, opening my application. Now we can see here, there are two browser windows are open and two different applications. Again, if you want to work with any elements, you can, you have to switch to one browser window to another browser window by using switching command, you have to navigate and you can perform the actions. Okay. So this is a, a new command, which is available in from Selenium four onwards driver dot switch to dot new window. When I pass window type is tab, which will open an application in the new tab. Or when I pass window type window, then the application URL will be opened on another browser window. Okay, so this is uh, one more important entry question. So new window command. And the last thing we will see how to capture size and location of the web element. How to capture size and location of the web element. And when you perform the UI testing, which is very, very important. So we need to test exactly what is the size of an elements and where exactly placed on the UI. So size and location of the web element, how we can capture them. 
So there are multiple methods are available. So now I'll show you all the methods. Let's create one more class. I'll name it as size and location of element. Size and location of element. Take this main method. And then as usual, I will specify the web driver manager to set up the Chrome driver. And then Chrome driver instance I'm creating, import everything and then take the driver and launching my application. So here I'm trying to launch uh, Orange HRM application. So this is my application URL. And here I have a small logo here. So I want to find the location and the size of this particular logo. So how we can do this? Let's capture the URL of application and then specify inside the driver.get. So this will open up the application. And after that, I'll try to maximize the page. I say driver.manage.window.maximize. So that's the command which will maximize the page. So driver.manage.window.maximize. So this will maximize the page. So now let's capture the element from the web page. And then we will find out the location and the size of the element. Now inspect this image or logo and uh, get the locator of this. I'm using XPath. Go back and get the element by using find element method. I say driver dot find element by dot X path, specify that X path. And this is a logo element. And uh, this is a type is web element. I specify web element. All right, so now I capture the element and store that in one more variable called web element variable logo. Now I need to find the location and the size of the logo. So first let us see the location, how to get the location of the logo. So to get the location of the logo, we have multiple options are there. So the first is I say logo dot get location. This is a method. Get location will return X and Y coordinates of the element, X and Y coordinates of the element. Now let me just print this. So here I say location x and y both will be returned and concatenating this logo dot get location and this will give you x and y coordinates together now i want to get only x location or i want to get only y axis location so then you can add one more method get location dot get x and similarly if you want to get only y location get location dot get y get location dot get y is another method so which will give you the y axis so here this is only x this is only y okay now let us try to execute and see let us run as a java application now chrome driver started successfully and it is launching my application all right, so maximized. So I'm just closing it. So now we can see here, this is a 340 is a X coordinate, 75 is a Y coordinate. And separately, I captured X and Y coordinates. So this is a location, X and Y coordinates representing the location. And the same thing we can also capture by using another method called uh, getRect.getX, getRect.getY. Now I'll show you one more method. This is a first method actually. So there is another way and uh, as a method too. So here what I will do is uh, I want to get the X and Y coordinates like this logo dot instead of get location. I'm using one method called get rect. Okay, which will basically return the rectangular object. So from the rectangle object, we can extract the X, we can also extract the Y. The same method I can use instead of get location. So logo dot get rect dot get x or get rect dot get y. So this will also give the same x and y axis locations. This is another way we can capture the location of the element. Now let me run one more time. So launching my application and then maximized and then capture the data. Now let me close it. So now we can see the first time we got 340, 75. Again, in the second method also, we got the 340 and 75. So width and height of the 
sorry location x and y coordinates of the element so these are the two methods which we have or two approaches which we have to capture the location of the element so not only the logo you can apply these methods for any of the elements so now we will see the size how to get the size of element means width and height size so here also we have a two different methods so the first method i am showing you now how to capture the size of an element so to capture the size of element simply we can say logo dot get size direct method is available get size so this method will return the a dimension object so which contains width and height so let me just print this value i say system dot order print ln and here i'll name it as a size size means width comma height width comma height both i am trying to print and concatenation so logo dot get size and uh, suppose i want to get only width only height so then what i can do is get size dot get height or get width if you want to get only width i say get size dot get width so this method will return the width only width and similarly if you want to get only height so instead of uh, get width method i can use get height get height so which will return the height of the element separately okay height of the element separately we can capture it so now we capture the height and width here width and height separately so this is the one method now let us try to execute and after completion of this i'll also close my browser i'll say driver dot close so now let us try to execute one more time now it is launching my web page all right so now we can see here this is height and width and we have captured separately width is 634 height is 123 so this is one method which we have so by using get size method we can capture width and height and similarly by using get rect method also we can capture so there is one more method is also available for getting the size of an element that is i'll say method 2 so what is that so we can use the same method so here size suppose i want to get the width of the element width of the element i want to get so logo dot get rect dot instead of get x we use one more method called uh, get dimension okay so get rect dot get dimension and dot get width this is a method so if you want to get the width of the element the element dot get rect dot get dimension dot get width so get dimension will return uh, width and height basically it will return the dimension object so from the dimension object we can extract width and height so the same statement again i'm writing instead of getting width this time i'm using getting the width i say dot get width so this will sorry this is height i say dot get height so this will return the height of the element same thing so now let us try to execute and see run as java application so these methods we can apply for any kind of elements not only specific elements so we can find the location and size of any kind of elements so it is launching my application and it is done so now we can see in the first method so when i use size in the first method whatever values which is written the same values are written by the second method also right so this is how we can find the location and size of the elements which are present on the web page okay so that is all about how to capture tool tip you have seen and how to open the link in the new tab how to open the urls in multiple tabs on windows and finally we have seen how to capture the size and location of the web element all right so that's all for this video guys so in the next video we will discuss few more questions thanks for watching